This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Greg Lays an Egg. April, Friday. So me and Riley have been dating for about half a year now. I've always been interested in him romantically, but I finally asked him out last summer, and he said yes. So ever since then, we've been going out, and we have a pretty stable relationship, especially for middle schoolers. But recently, I've been thinking about taking our relationship further. Saturday. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I've always been sexually attracted to other men, especially Rowley. And ever since we started dating, I've been thinking about intercourse. I recently found out that I'd be home alone this weekend. It was the perfect time to be home alone with Rowley and his sweet ass. So I talked to Rowley about it. The conversation was awkward at first, but he agreed to come over on Saturday. I was so excited. He arrived today in a cowboy costume. Kinky. We went inside and immediately went up to my room. It didn't take long for us to take off our pants and, well, I think you can guess what happened. What the f***? I'm writing this early in the morning because something weird happened. I woke up with a fucking egg in my pants. I immediately called Riley about it and he said he must have impregnated me and I laid the egg. I am a human male. How the fuck can I lay an egg? Then again, why else would it be there? Monday. I decided to bring the egg with me to school so that my family would have messed with it when they came home while I was gone. I heard that chickens sit on their eggs to help them hatch, so I decided to do that during class while trying not to crush it. It was incredibly uncomfortable. Have you ever sat your ass on an egg without trying to crush it? Didn't think so. When I got home, I immediately went up to the room to hide the egg, but then my parents walked in. I told them the egg was for a school project. They probably didn't believe me, but they also probably didn't think I laid it. Saturday. Well, it's been a week about since this whole egg thing began, and nothing's happened. Me and Riley have agreed to throw out the egg if nothing happens by the end of the week. The egg was probably just some prank. I think we'll be fine. Sunday. The egg just fucked hatched and it wasn't some chicken it was a human child that was my fucking child i saw it when it's crying woke me up in the middle of the night i went downstairs to feed it so it would quiet down but i was too late because guess who the fuck was downstairs i tried to tell dad some lie to calm him down but he didn't listen he figured everything out his yelling woke up the rest of the family mom was crying but roger and manny were laughing their asses off those dickheads by the end of the argument i was kicked out of the house so i packed up my shit along with the baby and left Guess there's only one place I can go now. I went inside the Jefferson's house and explained everything to Rowley, except I had to do it in front of his parents. And I guess they're even more conservative than mine, because as soon as my explanation was over, they told me get the fuck out. Rowley said that he'll go wherever I go, and I guess his parents didn't give a shit, because now me and him are on the street with a baby. Just my fucking luck that I got kicked out of two houses in less than a day. Monday. Well, me and Rowley have been on the streets for a day now. I didn't think it was that bad at first, since there was no school or family to bother me. But the ugly truth of homelessness began to sit in. Everyone talks about how much they care about the homeless, but nobody actually does anything to help. I'm scared. Not just for me, but for Rowley and even the baby. There's nowhere to go. I don't know what to do. Sunday. We've been homeless for about a week now. Life has been hell. We're running out of food and water that I packed, so unless we start scavenging, we'll die from dehydration or starvation. If I were to describe the shit we've been through, it'd probably take around 15 pages. The only hope we have left is a flyer we saw being passed around. Have you laid an egg? There is a strange phenomenon of males laying eggs after having gay sex. If you are one of these men and you need help, please visit us at 69 Love Shack Lane. Sounds kinda sketchy, but what else can I do? Wednesday. Man, I haven't written in this for a few days. I guess I've just been busy. Well, first of all, we checked out the place the flyer mentioned. We ended up at an apartment building, so we went inside and we talked to this guy at the front desk. Apparently, this place takes care of egg babies, so now me and Riley are staying here, and the workers are taking care of the baby. It's actually pretty nice. We'll probably stay here until we turn 18. The only weird thing is, is I haven't seen any other egg babies. Thursday. The baby is fucking gone. It disappeared this morning. At first, I thought it would come back later, but it's the end of the day, and it's still fucking gone. Friday. Well, it's the next day, and the baby is still gone. So, me and Riley decided to put up a missing person flyer to put around town. Have you seen this baby? It hatched from a fucking egg. If you've seen this weird ass egg baby that was drawn with a mouse, then call 1679. A few hours after putting up flyers, I went outside. But then when I got to a place I had to put a flyer, I noticed it was gone. I tried putting up more flyers, but I just went out and they were gone again. I guess there's no point in putting them up again. It'd just be a waste of paper and ink. Saturday. It's the middle of the night, and I was woken up by some weird noises coming from somewhere in the building. I guess I should say that I've always been suspicious of this place, but I haven't written down my thoughts because the workers have been reading my journal. 
I'm running this down because this may be my last entry because I'm going to investigate the noises. I'm not bringing Rally because I don't want him to get hurt. If I'm dead and you're reading this Rally, I just want you to know that I love you. Goodbye. Oh fuck! Okay, alright, I don't have much time to write this, so let me explain. So I followed the direction of the noise, ended up at the basement door. I'd never been in there before. I opened it up and walked down the stairs, ended up in a hallway with a big door at the end of it. I opened the door and stumbled upon a fucking cult ritual. And the baby was there too! Then the cult leader took off his hood, and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw who it was. It was dad! The other cult leaders took off their hoods, and I saw Mom, Roderick, and Manny. I even saw Rowley's parents. Apparently, when they found out I had the ability to lay an egg, they orchestrated my relationship with Rowley, so I would lay his egg. They said that egg babies had some sort of hidden eldritch power, and they wanted to harness it. Now, I can somewhat believe I laid an egg, but I can't believe that my egg baby has hidden eldritch power. Dad said that now that I know the truth, I'll have to die. So I grabbed the baby and ran down the hallway. I ended up in a weapon storage room, and that's where I'm writing this. There are some grenades. I'm gonna blow this cold fuck to bits. There's an explosion proof box in here. The baby will be safe in there. I hope the explosion will wake up Rally, and he'll come down here to take the baby. I also hope this journal will survive the explosion. I hope you're reading this, Rally. My last drawing is dedicated to you. I love, I love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> 11 years later, August, Sunday. First of all, this is a journal, not a diary. That's what my dad says my other dad used to say. I never knew him. He died when I was too young to remember. I hear he used to have a journal, so I decided to get one on my own because I'm starting middle school tomorrow. I guess I just wanted to share my thoughts. Well, first of all, my name is Greg Jefferson.